I wanted to make a quick video that shows the different options we have for opening files inside of Gibbscam. The reason I'm making this is when I was doing a webcast, someone uh, came in with a question that said, can we have the option to see all files uh, that are available to open inside of a folder when we hit open? And I'm going to show you how we can do that really, really easy um, inside of Giz. But now there's a few different ways to open files. I'm just going to cover them really quick and, you know, maybe you guys will learn a different way to do it. So I think we all know we can come up here to file open and then we specify what file extension we want. And it shows me all of the available files with that extension inside of that specific folder. Uh, another way to do it is right inside of our document dialog, we can click open. And again, specify the file extension, let's say Gibbscam package file. And we can see that we have a Gibbscam package file that's available to open. But what if I want to see all of the files, regardless of the extension, uh, inside of this folder? Uh, maybe I forgot if it's an STEP or STEP or IGIS or something. I just want to see um, all of the files that are available. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to open up an Explorer window here. A real easy way to open up an Explorer window is you hold down the Windows key on the lower left hand side of your keyboard and hit the letter E. This will open up that window. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to my parts folder where I have all of my parts. So now we can see when we do this, you can see all of the different files that are available to open. All right. So what I want to do is let's say I just want to open the SOLIDWORKS file. I can just come over here, drag and drop it right inside of the window, and it'll open up that SOLIDWORKS file for me. Now, this works with um, all files that are supported inside of your seat of Gibbscam. So we can say here's a VNC file. Let's open that up. No, I don't want to save it. So I don't have to actually specify what extension I want to open, I can just open up an Explorer window and just drag and drop any uh, file that I would like to open inside of Gibbscam. So this is the way that I, when I'm working, this is the way that I use uh, the file open. I always have an Explorer window open here with uh, my folder and I just drag whatever file I need in here. And this way, it doesn't matter. I can't, if, was that a step file or a SOLIDWORKS file? It doesn't matter. I could just drag it right over and I can see all the files. So hey, that's some real basic stuff inside of Gibbscam, but hopefully you got something out of it. If you have any questions about opening files or file extensions or little shortcuts like this inside of Gibbscam, please reach out to your local reseller or give Gibbscam technical support a call. Thank you.